instead of bloom, they should have given us a... Given us a... Yeah, this scan line is not the best anyway. It's horrible, actually. Jesus, it's longer than it should. It's like trying to teach a game to a toddler or something. Not working. Oh. 
don't ask us to press the button. You don't allow us to press that button. Dear God. There's no sound effects for explosions. That's uh, very questionable. <laughs> Design fucking uh, choice there. Wait, what? <sighs> Maybe I need... Oh! Pfft. You can't access the... I was looking for this. Maybe I, I just need to increase... No, I don't think so because... They just don't have uh, sound effects for explosion, which is... Very strange. Yeah, quite strange. Hmm. 
Even if, even if it's like a little beep bloop something, you know? I mean, it... Okay, and then what is up with the um, hitbox? I mean, I, I guess the entire ship is the hitbox? Entire ship is a hit box. I guess they think that um, people will be enthralled by the sound of the uh of your bullet. And they don't care about the explosion effect when you actually destroy an enemy, you know? It, it's apparently the person who made this game. never really plays a shoot em up because it doesn't make any fucking sense. He would have noticed it or he or she or whoever might have noticed it immediately that there's something wrong with the game.
can't, I can't access the options here. Hey Dova, how's it going? Thanksgiving. There's no sound with the explosion. Maybe I need to do a um, integrity check. Maybe it just didn't download properly. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, you're, you're from the UK, I didn't know that. What is this? Freaking weapon, it's so stupid. Wait, wait, Hawkeye? What? What is this? Oh, it's so horrible. This weapon is pretty, pretty bad. 
It is so stupid. Wow. So what are you up to? So it must be nighttime over there, right? In the UK. Are you doing anything fun this weekend? Got any plans? Playing anything new? It's about 5 p.m. Nice. There's a new uh, Pokemon game out. Um, I'm not sure if you uh, if you play Nintendo games. I I'm not sure about that new Pokemon. No plans for the weekend. And then uh, there's a new God of War game out. It's just uh, with PlayStation 5 games, uh, or games in general, you know, I don't, I don't believe in paying $70 for a game. It's just stupid. I I'm not sure about regular game prices in pounds, I guess. Like, how much do you, how much do you guys usually pay for? I know there's a price increase for like. Um, Newer games for PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. The only place where, <laughs> where the uh, game prices are stable is like PC gaming on Steam, you know? I mean, I know there are some developers that want to start charging like crazy amount of money for new games, but they usually fail in their endeavors <laughs> because nobody's buying. At that price, you know, people would just go to third-party retailer sites and like the official ones, even like Green Man Gaming, um, Fanatical. You know, they they sell them cheaper. Seventy dollars, isn't that like? No, I'm not, I'm not sure right now if. How much is that in US dollars? Like, isn't that... Isn't that like crazy high? Isn't that like... 90 US dollars? As for PlayStation 5, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> well, I know what they're thinking. Yeah. They say that gamers are willing to spend any amount of money that we charge them. And a lot of them do, unfortunately. <laughs> that's how they're getting away with it. But yeah, as much as I want to check out that new uh, God of War game, you know, it's like... Not for seventy, not for sixty-nine ninety-nine. No, you guys are crazy. 
I'll buy it for pity bucks. How about that? <laughs> But everyone's playing, um, you know, God of War right now. Like if you're browsing on Twitch, it's kind of difficult to, trying to avoid spoilers, you know? I think Twitch needs to um, add like a spoiler um, setting where they don't show the thumbnail of channels when you're browsing, you know, you just see the uh, the channel art or whatever. Like, it's kind of dangerous. If you care about spoilers, it's kind of dangerous to browse YouTube as well as a gamer. Because they know that you, play, you watch uh, gaming videos and... So they... they they would start like uh, promoting all these videos of people <laughs> spoiling everything, showing like thumbnails of important moments in games, you know, it, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that somebody already suggested it. Right? I guess I could look because I know there's a uh, there's a form uh, official form for Twitch, right, where you can submit suggestions, feature suggestions. Wow. Okay, so this game is interesting. Um, I mean, it's okay. It's an average roguelite shoot 'em up, but <laughs> I don't understand why they don't have ex the explosion effects, sound effects. I it is quite odd to play a shoot 'em up, and when you destroy something, they don't make a noise. <laughs> it's just odd. <laughs> So I'm going to uh, do an integrity check on this game. Maybe I, it didn't download proper, you know. Um, and then I guess I'll decide if I want to keep it. Because <laughs> I think this was like, what? How much was this? I know it's cheap, but I need to look at it. Uh, 70 pound is about $85 uh, US dollars. Okay. All right, I'm gonna switch because I have to check this uh, game back later on. Um, let's see if anybody mentioned anything about it. Last time this game was patch, what it looks like was in January. Oh yeah, so no more support for this game though, apparently. Um, so they're not gonna fix any new issues. But let me see if I go to discussion and then explosion or sound. Nobody mentioned anything like <laughs> anything like that. Uh, okay, I'm playing with dual um, shock. I just hear plop plop sound one. Um, uh, Okay, what is this? Uh, yeah, nobody said anything about the explosion of uh, sound effects. So I guess a lot of people don't care. It's only a $4 game though, so. <laughs> but, and it's decent enough, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this game. Let me do a, um, Integrity, let me do an integrity check here real quick. Should be pretty quick because it's this very small game. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of money. So how, how do you approach that? Um, but you, um, do you primarily game on the PC or are you a, 
Are you a PS, uh, Sony, Nintendo gamer? I mean, the cool thing is like on Steam, there's always something on sale, you know, like... I know uh, consoles usually... Um, they don't like to drop prices, um, even in their digital stores. Especially with Nintendo. With Nintendo, I think if you can grab their games for like 39 bucks, it's pretty... Um, that's probably the best, <laughs> the cheapest that you will find it, because then it will be out of, uh, you know, out, out of uh, out of stock for retail uh, copies. That is, and then you, you would have to pay more. Nintendo games always been kind of pricey. Um, both oh, you you play Nintendo games, Sony games, also on PC. Um, okay. And then with, um, well, I guess that's the same problem with the PC, uh, like on Steam. Like games with season passes. If you don't get the version that have both the season pass, unless you don't care about the season pass content. Like if you would buy just the game itself and you don't get the season pass. Like, but you want the season pass and you say, okay, I'll just pay that later. You know, I'll, once all the content, uh, planned contents, uh, you know, have been released. And then when you go back to try and get the season pass, it never goes on sale. <laughs> it's it's pretty fucked up. Some of these things that these developers are doing, you know, they're pretty fucked up. Okay, so let me see. Is that done? Okay, so it's done with the... Um, with the uh, integrity check. Let's see. Yeah, nobody said anything about this uh, explosion sound effects. It's just... You would think that it would be the one thing that people would talk about. But I guess this is not marketed um, towards people like me. You know, who are a little bit more serious about shoot em ups. This is as casual as it gets, you know. So... I think people just don't you know you have all these like other sound effects and shit but yeah just just yeah i guess this is just the way the game is that enemy that looks like a bomb <laughs> when you destroy when you destroy those you hear like a little boom <laughs> But everything else has no sound effects. Like, yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> even the, even the asteroids. So the only thing. So only like, bomb-looking enemies like even those mines actually when you destroy those you hear a little boom 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 but everything else <laughs> is just like quiet it's it's very odd is all i'm saying i'll, I'll just keep the game though I mean, like it's cheap enough i guess but it's just very odd
Hey Spooky, how's it going? I'm doing all right. How was your Thanksgiving? If if you're in the U.S., that is. <laughs> for four dollar game, it looks okay. Yeah, it's on sale right now for four dollars. It's usually ten. And like I said, it's it's decent enough. It's just the lack of <laughs> explosion. Sound effects on the enemies are just like just pretty disturbing to me. That's the only thing. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, mine was pretty good. Are you gonna be doing any uh, uh, Black Friday shopping <laughs> today? You know, I used to participate in those like. Um, no, I think I've only participated in a Black Friday, um, event one time, and that was because I was looking for, um, I was looking for a console. It was like the console was released and then it was out of stock, and then they supposedly would have the, uh, I'm not sure which console it was, I, I forgot. <laughs> Maybe, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> well, at least like Amazon also has a, um, a Black, Black Friday digital event. Um, I found a couple of Nintendo games that I want. <laughs> the um, They're selling Metroid, um, that latest Metroid game for 39 bucks. And then... Um, Mario Party Superstars for $39, so I think I'm gonna grab those. You love the GameCube box and the Doom thing in the back. Oh, you're talking about the... <laughs> My camera, okay, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I have majority of my stuff all packed up because I'm supposed to be moving but I'm not but I'm not moving I might be moving but I might not mean be moving so I'm just like trying to <laughs> make everything looks nice I guess in the background because the Nintendo uh, the GameCube box is usually like hidden <laughs> You're gonna buy Mario stuff, 100%? Yeah, usually... <laughs> like, for the most part, all you see in the background right now are like boxed up stuff. If you look at my... Um, my video, like on my... Um, Twitch streams that I have uploaded to uh, YouTube from a couple of months back, you'll see how how it used to look. <laughs> Where I have all of the game stuff in the background, but now it's like nothing but brown boxes and the occasional cool things. <laughs> you like older consoles more than newer things. Well, I, I, I actually used to really enjoy, like, buying physical items, I mean, physical games, um, prior to, the PlayStation 4 era, you know, because you have, like, uh, game manuals, and, especially with Nintendo, Nintendo w would always have, like, colorful manuals, <laughs> Their game manuals are usually pretty thick, <laughs> even for like GameCube and you know, I mean, um, their handheld like uh, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, stuff like that. 
But now even Nintendo has gotten lazy on that. You know, there's no more. You don't even get manuals anymore from from buying Nintendo games. Um, the story that I would usually tell uh, people about game manuals and Nintendo. I think it was during the Nintendo Wii years. They actually sent out um, surveys. Um, and uh, asking about the manual because they <laughs> because they noticed that like for the Xbox okay during the Nintendo Wii years it was like Xbox 360 and maybe PlayStation when was I think it was during the Wii U years because that was when the PlayStation 4 came out right and the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox series uh, Xbox one and Nintendo was trying to get away from printing manuals and they want to know if um, people are gonna get upset about it, so they send these um, these um, surveys and asking, okay, do you like our uh, do you like the manuals that you get from games? Do you even do you even read them? Do you um, um, do you just usually like um, tutorials to be in the game? They, they were asking these very specific questions because they they were trying to get away from printing manuals. Ooh, <laughs> they really heard from me because <laughs> I was I was like. Nintendo, please, you, you better keep printing those manuals. <laughs> that was pretty much my answer. I was just like, no, no, don't, don't you even try. Don't you even dare. Don't you even, don't, don't you even go there. And then, for some reason, I guess, um, they, they heard enough from us, where a lot of us apparently felt the same way, and they, they kept printing manuals. It was it was after the Nintendo Wii, I think, right? And then when the Switch comes out, and when when they finally stop printing manuals altogether, you know. So, but yeah, <laughs> it was it was crazy. They were trying to get away with it, you know. They they were like, no, we don't want to increase, we don't want to print manuals anymore. <laughs> you remember when PlayStation One games cost about thirty pounds and was like about nine? Uh, when you were about nine, ten, yeah. I mean, games used to be uh, cheaper, you know. And the funny thing is, I don't. They're just increasing the price just because they can get away with it. Like with PlayStation Five, uh, when PlayStation Five uh, came out and Xbox Series X, they bumped it up to seventy dollars. If enough people didn't buy at the seventy dollar mark, you know, they would have um, had it go back down to fifty nine. But People are willing to accept everything, you know? I mean, that's the problem. The, I think it's the same situation with uh, online multiplayer, you know? You know how on uh, the PlayStation 3 you used to be able to um, to pay online without paying um, for the PlayStation Plus subscription? And PlayStation Plus subscription used to be um, if you want to, to uh, get free games uh, to play while you're while well, you're, uh, you're a subscriber. That, that's what it used to be. But people were willing to pay money for it, you know? And so they're like, okay, you know, people are willing to pay for everything. So they're like, why not just charge them money just to play online? And like for um, Xbox Live, for example, right? You know, you know, on the PC, online multiplayer has always been free unless, you know, you you're playing MMOs and that's like a service game, you know, you pay for the service. Um, but for the most part, online multiplayer is always free. And when uh, Microsoft uh, started wanting to go into the PC market because they noticed that Steam was so successful, so they started releasing some of the Xbox games on the PC, they also tried to charge you for Xbox Live Gold back then, when they started doing that. If you want, I think it was Halo, they released Halo 1, and then you have to pay <laughs> Xbox Live Gold to play it online. <laughs> and the PC, uh, the PC players weren't having it. Because they didn't make any money, they, there was not, apparently there were not enough people <laughs> buying the subscription. Because like a couple of months later, they canceled the um, the whole Goal um, uh, online uh, membership fee, and Xbox Live Goal became or Xbox Live Multiplayer became free.
And I, I think it was dur um, around that time that I stopped paying for Xbox Live Gold because uh, you know I used to pay Gold for um, the Xbox 360 because I had a couple of friends back then on the Xbox 360 um, I would play online uh, games with. But after a while, you know, I was like, <laughs> why am I paying money for this? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> So yeah, then I, then I just and and around that time I, I noticed that my friends weren't even playing that much in you know, online. And then like they would they would play like they would buy like new games, and then they would say like okay we're gonna play this online. Um, so everyone you know should should buy this game and we'll play it online. And then you know you you would end up buying the game and then. <laughs> They're not even really playing the game, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, after a while, I was like, okay, I'm not paying for that anymore. And now Nintendo is is in on it now too, you know, because they started charging for online multiplayer. You know, it's crazy. Like, why? <laughs> Even Nintendo is doing it, you know? They're like, okay, th these guys w will just pay for it. You know, online multiplayer used to be free. And online multiplayer on, on the Switch sucks. <laughs> you know? Don't you have to download like, download like some app too on your phone or something to, to chat with people online for Splatoon? I was like, what the fuck? Hey Spooky, yeah, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm always streaming, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I stream a lot. You yeah, have a good day. Oh yeah, you did follow me. I see that yesterday. I'm, I, you know, if I miss, I miss that. I'm sorry, because some, sometimes, and also sometimes when people follow me, like at the beginning of the stream, I don't say anything if they haven't said anything in the chat because I'm getting a lot of those. Um, I'm, you know, um, I'm here to make art for you, or do you do you need a Twitch manager? Follows, you know. <laughs> so after a while, when that happens, I just kind of ignore it, you know. It, so, but yeah, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, what is up with the <laughs> recent... <laughs> you know, <laughs> what is up with the recent uh, um, thing with people wanting to manage your Twitch channel. This is this is new because I know people have always been trying to sell their art. You know, I, I mean, I, I understand, you know, I mean, uh, you know, but you, you shouldn't do that like unsolicited, you know, you should probably ask people if they want that service, you know, like via personal um, or Twitch messaging, you know, Twitch like send a message to them on Twitch instead of asking them in the chat, you know? So that's always been going on for a little while, but... There's this new trend now with people coming in and then they're like, Do you want me to be a Twitch manager? Like, what? <laughs> okay, one, I I'm not even a popular channel, so I, I know you just... <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, shouldn't you be asking, like, a larger channel that question? Because I, I guess they know that those people are just going to ignore them. <laughs> but I guess it's a new thing. They're trying to create a new industry. Now you manage other people's uh, Twitch channels. Uh, what do you exactly do <laughs> when you manage somebody's Twitch channel? I, it, it's weird. quite odd oh, 
What? Double KO. Okay, I, I wasn't really paying attention, but but I like that when when he does like the the, the spread bullet going uh, to a towards you, and then as soon as you avoid it, you get the um, you get the graze um, special effect uh, sh special attack. That that's nice. So yeah, this game is decent. It's just weird. I just wish that um, they would add like just. Even if they use like that same ex explosion sound from the uh, the bomb enemies, like the little poof poof, even if it just sounds like that when you destroy enemies, all of the enemies, I, I would be fine with that, you know. <laughs> like, like with bosses, you want to hear like <laughs> when you destroy a boss, you know, like in the shoot 'em up. But in this game, you just like see this all these explosions, and then the, nothing. There's nothing, there's no sound. It's anticlimactic, you know? It's like... <laughs> there's no celebration. It, nothing. It's just weird. Um, does this game have... Let me see if this game... Oh, it has a leaderboard? No? <laughs> No, don't don't click on scores or you'll get the screen. <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let's see if this is this is a problem. And I, I haven't gotten any achievements apparently so far. Achievements not working, maybe? What what's going on? Okay. Go back to scores. It's not working. What? It's it's not working. Okay, so this game. Okay, let, let's change the resolution. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's too bad. It's not working. Maybe it just doesn't like the resolution. Let, let's see. <gasps> no. Okay, well, um, apparently this game is... It's bad. Right now. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, there's a problem with the game. Let me see. Uh, oh, you broke the leaderboard as well. <laughs> Let me see if, if you said anything. Okay, yes, however, I had already broken it before. Uh... Okay, so I guess the leaderboard just doesn't work right now. So I guess I have to make a decision if this is acceptable and <laughs> the game itself is not bad, but I don't know. I'm I'm not sure now. I'm glad I <laughs> I'm glad I tested it though. Okay, that's the start.
maybe it's one of those things where you have to wait a little bit. Um, I, the problem is probably it's trying to um, connect to a server. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a couple of minutes. I just wish that you can actually get out of this screen. If they would allow you to do that, then... I would consider keeping the game, but this is... Alright, um... <laughs> I'll leave the game running for a couple of minutes and see what happens. <laughs> and then I guess if, if this is a problem, I just have to make that determination whether or not this, if this is worth it. Um, oh shit, I gotta run too. <laughs> okay, so I'll just stop here. I'll do this one final check uh, before I go. I just want to see if the... Um, if the um, high score is registered in the game where you can see it while you're playing the game. So that's gonna uh, give me... All right, Dova, I'll talk to you later. You have a good, uh, you have a good evening. <gasps> no, so, oh, and look at this. Um... Oh, this is just a, okay. I thought those are like, <laughs> Um, save save files with scores. So yeah, so you can't ac have access to your how you did in the game because the score menu is fucked up. Okay, well, I think I have to return this one. <laughs> it's a decent game though, but maybe maybe the developer will fix it in the future. I mean, the last activity from this de this developer was in February of this year. It should give you a general idea of where everything is with this game right now. So, but yeah. <laughs> Glad I tested this today. So. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll be back a little later.